Hi Chams, welcome to our channel Maths Mill. How are you all? So today we are going to start a new video based on competitive mathematics. As I said earlier, I want to start basic maths, competitive maths, 10th grade maths, 9th grade maths, etc. So many I want to do. So part of that, I am going to start competitive mathematics. This competitive mathematics is very useful for school based Olympiad exams, NTSC, National Talent Search Examination. This is conducting by CBSE board only for 10th grade students. 10th grade students are eligible to write NTSC. In that, we are having uh, two types. One is SEIT, one is MEIT, mental ability test. In that 100 marks only for this reasoning, that is competitive mathematics. Coming to bank jobs, you know, nowadays, this IBPS and some other bank jobs completely depends upon that reasoning and arithmetic only. That it will be very useful to you in the competitive mathematics stream. Now, groups, our state board and some other states also, those are conducting groups in that reasoning and arithmetic is very much important. For that, all, that also, we are taking this concept. Next, coming to RRB, Railway Recruitment Board, reasoning and arithmetic is very, very important. So, when all are preparing for the competitive exams, this is very, very important and you can follow my videos, you will surely will get the job. Not only RRB, not only groups, not only bank jobs, not only NDSC, Staff Selection Commission. This is also conducted by the central government. So, and other competitive exams, so many competitive exams like CAT, MAT, even GRE, TOEFL, everything. So, our competitive mathematics concepts are very, very useful to you if you can follow my videos. So, in this competitive mathematics concepts, what I am going to teach, just a briefing I am giving you, reasoning and arithmetic. Reasoning and arithmetic, both are very, very important. Coming to reasoning, we are having two segments. One is verbal, another one is non-verbal. Verbal means, verbal communication completely. Non-verbal means, completely pictures, diagrams, everything will come under. Coming to arithmetic, that is general mathematics, general mathematics in the sense, our basic maths videos also very, very important for arithmetic. So, hope my friends and my dear champs will be follow my all videos and you should get a good job or you should get good knowledge in the reasoning as well as arithmetic. Fine. So, as I said, I am going to start the reasoning first. In that, what are the concepts included and what we are going to teach, what you are going to learn. That and all, let me explain first. Series completion. Series completion in the sense, numbers, alphabets, everything it will come. So, analogy means, analogy means correspondence. So, word analogy, letter analogy, verbal analogy. Non-verbal analogy, so many included in that. Classification. Classification means out of four, what it relates. So, these four segments, which segment it will be relates. For example, chair, table, or what it is, uh, bench, and a pen. Pen is different from all the three. So, the classification will come like that. Coding, decoding. Coding, decoding is very, very important. This coding and decoding. What it is? So, for example, uh, A, B, C. It scores for 1, 2, 3. If you are going with that, coding and decoding and blood relations. Every competitive exam, blood relations are very, very important. What are maternal relations? What are paternal relations? That and all you are going to learn in this video. Puzzle test. We know, right? Usually, you people are doing the Sudoku. That is also a puzzle. That's very interesting. Once we are jumping into the sums, we are unable to get 
to come out. When we are coming out, we don't know. Well, that much interesting it is. I'll create that much interest. Don't worry. Direction sense. We are having how many directions? Four directions. Four east, west, north, south. South east, south west, north east, north west. Or well, like that. All eight directions. That sense. Next logical Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams means segregation. How we are giving the clarity about the sum and mathematical operations they will give plus means this thing minus means this thing into means that so that and all we have to be apply and go accordingly is it clear chumps not only these so many are there so many so many concepts so please follow my videos you will get more knowledge no doubt in that so as I said, I want to start with series completion in the reasoning part. So what is series completion? How we have to be approached towards to the sums? We are going to learn now. In this series completion, very, very important alphabetical series as well as number series. So what is alphabetical series? What is the relation with numbers? So how many letters we are having? A to G. A to G, how many letters? 26 letters. So, we should get to know all the numerical value of A to Z. For example, R. R is 18. Okay. Q. Q is 17. X, 24. So, like that, from A to Z, you should get to know the numerical values and Z to A also, you should get to know the numerical values. That is Z to A. What it is, for example, Z is 1, A is 26. Like that, you have to be take. Okay. So, that is about alphabetical series. Coming to number series, you should learn about squares, cubes, prime numbers, composite numbers and some other concepts. I'll let you know, don't worry. Okay. I'll be with you always. So, right. So, on the basis of, we are going to be learn, today's concept is, Alphabetical series. How we have to be map? That I am going to teach. As we discussed earlier, if you want to crack the alphabetical series, first you should get to know A to Z numerical values. For your clarity, I had written once. Of course, you know. Yes, first letter is A, first one. L, twelfth letter is L, twelfth. And fifteenth letter is O. 21st letter is U. So first, every student who are preparing the number series, first they should get to know all these 26 numerical values. Okay? So chance, one thing you have to be keep it in mind. What it is? In the main order, A1, B2, C3, easy. For everyone, is, they can do it easily. In the reverse order also we have to be remember. How we have to be? So first we can give the names. Numbers. 1, 2, 3. Z1, Y2, X3. W4. So you have to be noted down and by heart. Now I am going to give a tip. How to get the number numerical value from the reverse. That we will see now. Okay. So. What we are going to be learn now? The tip, what it is, what is the trick to find without by hearting from the reverse order alphabets. So once you can see, I want R value from the reverse. We know R value from the starting. That means general value, general numerical value is 18. So go with the 27 minus 18. It will be 9. From reverse, R is 9. From reverse, R is 9. For example, if you want uh, Z value, from there, of course, Z value is reverse is 1. If you want M value, M value is 27. From the starting, it is 13. You can take 13. That is 14 from the reverse. Is it clear? So, if you can observe, I said R value is from A to Z, R value is 18. From Z to A, R value is 9. How? 27 minus 18 is 9. 
So once I had written, once you can see Z1, Y2, X3, W4, V5, U6, T7, S8, R9. We got it right. One more example. I said V value is from A to Z, V value is 22. What is the formula? 27 minus 22, right? What is the value? 5. If you can observe, V is 5. Hope you got it. Is it clear? So, like that, if you can go, O, O value is from that side, 15. From this side, 27 minus 15. You are getting it as 12. If you can take R, R is 9, R. Next, Q. Q is 10. Q, next, P. P is 11. Next, O. O is 12. Hope you understood. Hope it is a, a very good trick to you, right? Who and all preparing for the competitive exams. This is the first trick I released in my videos. If you can observe. So, more uh, logical tricks you may get. Okay. So, here it is. First point, what I said. If you want to find the reverse order, the numerical value, you can subtract the forwarded order from the 27. You will get the answer. Is it clear, champs? So, friends, once you can see, what is series completion in the sense we have to be find the letter or number whatever we have to be find in which pattern it is going the same pattern you have to be identify the next for example a a after b not there c is there c after d not there e is there e after f not e after the f not there g is there g after a what h should not supposed to be there H after I, you have to be right. Got it? Hope you understood. Very easy. Because it is the introduction, right? You should get to know what is series completion. How to approach towards to the sum. For example, here also same thing. A, B and C not there. D is there, okay, right? E and F not there. G is there. And H and I not there. J is there. After the word what? J after K. L not there, M will be your answer. Coming to numerical values also 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 1, 4, 7, 10, 13. 3 is the gap, right? right? Now, if you can observe here, A after Z they say, B after B, after B, after that Y they say, after that C, after that X they say. So, if you can observe, it is called alternative series. A, B, C, D. It is moving forward. Next, Z, Y, X. After that what? W. Okay. Y, it is called alternative series. One term is moving forward. Next term is moving backward. That also you have to be identified. Alternative series is there, just series completion, the small sum, small uh, series I had given. Easily you can do that. Okay. So, chance, just I had given an introduction about the series completion. In that I had taken alphabetical order, that means alphabetical series. And I had given a trick how to find from backward the number, numerical value. So, in my coming video, I am going to explain about the sums based on alphabetical series followed by number series. So, if you can follow me, surely you will get good knowledge how to do reasoning part. Okay. And thanks for supporting me, all of you. Keep on supporting. Bye-bye.